Okay, the last game I'm going to play today, or the last match I'm going to play today. So, this hand's pretty good. Won the roll. Uh, he multi five, so. Or multi six, rather. So, I guess this game might be easier than I think. Bottoming this because I have plenty of land already. Uh, Ashiok's pretty good. I probably could have played the Bale Flyvon instead. Might have been better, actually. Yeah, I definitely like should have played the Bale Flyvon in there. I don't my, don't know what my opponent's playing. I drew the third Ashiok after bottoming it, or bottoming it, the uh, you know what I'm trying to say. So he's playing Xenagos, and so he's probably just red green, or maybe the. I'm gonna go ahead and put Polacrinus into play because I want to win this game, and I do not need Ashiok to tip tick up 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 to win the game. Yeah, he's just conceded. <laughs> It's very hard, difficult for Monogreen to deal with large creatures if they can't also play large creatures, so I guess he just couldn't play large creatures. Uh, I want the other Ashiok, because Ashiok is very good against Monogreen, or just green in general. Uh, I'm not sure about the Overlord. Probably not that good. Balefly very good. Um, maybe the Curse. Curse this wine instead of Voyage's End, because I don't want him to jam a bunch of large creatures into play. I think that's fine. I actually want to play the Overlord just because I want to see it happen. Like, I want to Overlord something. Uh, I don't really want to take out anything for it, but I guess I'll just take out a mm, Keepsake Gorgon. Like, I want to try Curse the Swine and a Port Overlord. I have no idea how they're going to work, and I want to draw the cards. Like, just it, even if they're bad, like, I want to see that they're bad. <laughs> Because I really like the Gorgons and the Ithonias. Like, they're generally, like, okay. And they're very good if you can, like, make them survive a couple turns. And with Whip, I want them to do a lot more than that. Uh, this hand's... Eh, we'll, we'll keep it. He will again to six. I have two Scrylands and a Thoughtseize. So, I'm going to Thoughtseize turn one. Hope he's short on mana. He isn't short on mana. I'm gonna go ahead and take this Polacronos and the next turn take the Boonsay tier. I drew another one. I'll take it anyway. So hopefully I can draw... I want to draw a removal spell before I play Ashiok. Ashiok's not gonna really do a whole lot here. I feel like because the next turn he plays Boon State here and I take four. I need to draw some sort of removal spell for that. Ashiok can be good later. Oh, ah, don't have an island in my hand, so this temple is going to be probably the best thing I can do. I also should have cast the amulet and shuffled before I cast the Temple of Deceit because now I like basically don't get the scry. It was very greedy for him not to cast the Boon Sage on his turn, honestly. Like that just seems incredibly sloppy to me. I'm just going to dissolve whatever he tries to cast. If he doesn't cast anything, I'll just crack my amulets. Get an island. Get another island, I guess. Trying a Gorgon would be pretty good. I did not draw a Gorgon. I take five next turn. I could have cursed to Satyr uh, last turn, but I didn't know what he was going to play, so I didn't think it was going to be that good. Hopefully this scries into a removal spell of some sort. Uh, Baleflay Line is a removal spell of some sort. And I, now I need to draw something for Voyaging Satyr. <laughs> didn't get there. 
Top card was another idle line. I don't know why it keeps resizing that window to go way over here. It used to pop up all the here over here all the time. I don't know why it started popping up like right here. But we lose this game because eh, I kept a pretty loose hand. Christmas one I probably should have cast much earlier. And honestly, it would have been better as Keepsake Corgan <laughs> that game. Um, I want to try Grey Merchant now. Let's see if Grey Merchant does something. Like he doesn't have any burn, so this is actually isn't the mer matchup I want Grey Merchant for. This, which is why I switched it out for a thing at the last minute, a Gorgon. But it's still a fine card. I want to bottom this card. I want to draw some heroes downfalls. And there's a hero's downfall. Go ahead and thought seize. Grab a um probably Boon's A tier. Reverend Hunter is kind of annoying, Miss Carter Hydra is pretty annoying as well, but Boon's A tier is the whole lot of damage. So he has two mana dorks, a hunter, and a hydra. I want the Gorgon, but I need lands right now. I can't counter Miss Cutter Hydra, so I'm just going to cast Baleful Eidolon right now. Well, I'll go ahead and read the bones. <laughs> I need lands. Okay, that's that'll do. Top, top. Look for a, another land. Keep that on top. So he has Reverend Hunter in his hand and Miss Cutter Hydra. Uh, neither one is protected by Hero's Downfall. Um, Surprising to play the Hydra first. Okay, he has two Hunters. <laughs> Gorgon, I will keep on top. Think. I don't know what. I don't think there are any Rangers Guiles type effects in this format, so I'm just gonna wait until combat. See how big his Hydra he wants to make his Hydra, or if he even wants to do it before combat, because he he can make his Hydra a six six. Oh, Nemesis of Mortals. That's a card I wasn't expecting at all. Um, how much does it cost to Monstrosity? He has three creatures in his yard, so it costs five to Monstrosity. So he could get make it a 10-10. I'll probably block it with Keepsake Organ anyway. But if he casts Miss Cutter Hydra, I'm not going to block it. If he does, I'm going to block it, essentially. Because I don't want to just take 10 damage. Because since he has Xenagos in his deck. Yeah, I'm just going to... Ooh. So it costs 4, 5, 6. And he has 4, 5, 6 open. So. I could make him waste his turn by not blocking and then going to 4. But I, I don't want to go to 4. <laughs> that is not a thing I desire to do this game. I don't... Oh, okay. He's bestowing a Voyaging Sage here. Whip would be good if I had an extra land in play. I don't, so I'm just gonna downfall his Hydra. Mm, yep, sure. I'll go ahead and kill that too. <laughs> don't have enough lands in play to use the whip yet, so I'm going to Ashiok. Hopefully hit a Plokronos or something good. I did not hit a Plokronos. 
Like, if I hit a large creature, please don't draw Miss Carter Hydra. That would be the absolute worst. Okay. Squid. One, two, three, four. I, I need to draw some sort of, like, huh, Gorgon. Gorgon or uh, the parent overlord or whatever it's called. I'm glad he's attacking Ashiok. Ashiok down. Second main Colossus. Oh, I'll cast another Ashiok. He can just kill me. Uh, if I get a Keepsake Gorgon, I can attack for 2 and go to 11. And he can 9 plus 4 is way more than 11. Uh, but unfortunately, I can't use Whip at instant speed. Maybe he doesn't realize that and doesn't attack into it. I think that's my only out here. Because if I just whip and attack, he, he's not going to do anything. But if I like bluff the death touch creature, he might just not go for it. Like he's just killing me now. Yeah, I'm dead. I don't know why there's a Camtasia thing happening. But yeah, I'm dead. Can't do anything about it. Like I know this is only sorcery speed, but I had to hope he didn't know that. Like he just forgot. Um, so... Yeah. I honestly can't recommend this deck. I, I want it to be good. I really do. But the problem is, like, you just don't have enough removal spells. Like, you, you want to draw downfall pretty much every single turn. But you just can't. <laughs> like, if these if these Gorgons were Doomblades, this deck would be significantly better. Because you could just jam a bunch of Doomblades and Heroes Downfalls and Dissolves and have these large creatures in, as backup. Like, you wouldn't have to play a bunch of Gorgons. Like, Gorgons fine. But it costs 5 mana, and they can always force you to block with it and trade. Whereas you don't get the full value out of the monstrosity by killing a creature and trading with a creature. Like, it's just a 5 mana situational removal spell, which isn't that good. So, as much as I want this deck to be good, I I just can't make it good. Like, I, I, I honestly didn't think it was going to be that good. But I really wanted to play it. Like, I wanted to make this deck good, but it's... It's just not there yet. Like, there's not enough good cards to make Ashiok good right now. Like, I want Ashiok to be good, but it's it's not. That's pretty much all I can say. Like, you can try to make something work, but the cards aren't there. You're just wasting your money and your time. But I hope you all learned a bit anyway. So I might just try this blue-black deck next anyway. Uh, not the blue-black one, the blue-green one. Because it looks pretty interesting, uh, like Chimera, Horizon Chimeras and such. I might play a black green one. I'm not sure yet, but I don't. I don't want to play red green right now. Red green's kind of boring to me. But I might just like submit to the peer pressures of red green. But hopefully, I'll learn something for this. And I apologize. I didn't. I didn't like completely awfully. I don't think I won a single game today. But you know, sometimes it's magic, and I'm more glad I played this deck out and found out it was bad myself than just like played a bunch of good decks because I get I get a lot more experience from losing than winning like winning is nice and I should probably start doing that now but I, I always like doing these experiments where I try to figure out why cards are good and not because it just goes to show like even if your thinking's flawed you get to learn the hard way by losing a bunch so hopefully y'all enjoyed that a little bit, and I will see y'all next time, hopefully with a way better record than like 0-30. So, till then, thanks for watching.